To celebrate the 75 years of India's independence, the Indian Council for Cultural Relations ICCR, has planned a program titled Next Gen Democracy to emphasize the country's rich democratic tradition. For this, ICCR invited under 35 leaders from 75 democracies to visit India. Each group will consist of about 7 to 8 countries and the first group, comprising 19 delegates from 8 countries, concluded their visit on 2nd December. In a PVNS exclusive, member of Uzbekistan Liberal Democratic Party, Dr. Mehring Gaur, elaborates her experience about India's rich democratic tradition and she says that although this was a cultural, political event, she got to learn a lot about India and so does the world. In incredible country, I met incredible people really. That this is a uh, whenever uh, we talk about like India, we always say this is the mother country of uh, democracy. That uh, people can learn a lot from you, from the people just who live here. Um, when we uh, had a visit, uh, like here around, the, this was a cultural event, this was a political event, but anyway, we had something to learn more about India that was like the business, how it's developing so fast that this is also incredible that uh, the world can learn uh, a lot. Ms. Mehringor appreciates the patience of people of India as well as the hospitality and conveys the message that Uzbekistan is with India as India is with Uzbekistan. Your patience and your hospitality that uh, people are too much patient um, in learning, in doing everything, in just developing also. And uh, hospitality also like uh, can be seen uh, in any situation, in any part of India where you live in. They are ready to help, and they are so patient to tell us we are here for you. You know that is like what that India is here for us, and we also would like to tell uh, for India to teach for India. Uzbekistan is also here. Just uh, for India, any type, uh, you are welcome. On the other hand, Rhoda Moy Crawford, 33, an elected MP Manchester Central Jamaica, said the visit helped her burst some negative perceptions about the country. She also elaborated her meeting with Minister of State for External Affairs, Minakshi Lekhi, and appreciated the participation of women in leadership in India. Well, the, the, one of the most powerful experiences I've had, we met with State <laughs> Minister of Culture. Culture. And one of the things she... Minakshi Leki. Minakshi Leki. She yes. was so powerful. She was so powerful. And one of the things she taught us to expect as women, we have to be strong. We have to be confident. And so the women that I've met in the different sectors here in India, uh, before coming, I was told that the women are docile. They're not speaking up. They're not participating. So actually, I was very frightened and surprised to see that there were actually so many women in leadership. Also, some of our presenters in the sessions, the professors from the university, they were so impressive, they were so brilliant. And I didn't expect to see this because what I was told before coming to, to India is that women are not really in leadership position. So that is one positive. Thank you. Now let's hear Ms. Mehringor perception of the future of democracy. The future of the democracy is lined on the like, next generation, it's all these things. And uh, as a as the next generation of the country and uh, uh, being a part of like uh, international relationships, I'd like to mention that India is open to, to, to all the world. And uh, it can still uh, be like kind of vision uh, to the world, world's like perspectives also, like attitudes also. And if you continue in this way, and if you have the Roman stories to tell all the world, and uh, you will have like a great future of democracy. The perceptions of the delegations give us a fair idea on how India is staging its democratic values and ethos on the world stage and the future seems brighter with the work being done on the grassroots level. Well, that is all for today's segment. Thank you for watching.